Jamie Calvin, a longtime investigative reporter here in Chicago, has beat police misconduct. It has always been a delicate topic here in Chicago. That said, the author and uh, journalist remains optimistic about Chicago's role and place in tackling structural racism and police brutality despite a rocky past. W's Jen's Julie Unruh sat down with Calvin and to get his take on the images and the struggles of today. Jamie is a familiar name and face to many people here in Chicago. He is most widely known for breaking the story about the death of Laquan McDonald right here in Chicago, a black teen shot 16 times by an on-duty police officer. Calvin says the very thing that has left Chicago with a badly tarnished reputation is the same thing that leaves the city poised to be a leader when it comes to reform. And I think part of the reason is we have such an ugly history. Jamie Calvin's well-versed on bad cops, police misconduct, court rulings, and civil unrest. He's made a career of it in Chicago, most recently shining a light on the nationally known Laquan McDonald case. And as the nation and the world watched George Floyd die under the knee of a Minneapolis police officer, Calvin says there's a distinctive Chicago story inside the national one playing out from coast to coast. We have had our Floyd case, and we've had the aftermath of it. For decades, the name Commander John Burge haunted Chicago's black communities. He and his officers muscled mostly minority suspects into false confessions. Then in 2014, Laquan McDonald was shot by a Chicago police officer. Thirteen months later, this police dash cam video was released. On that same day, Officer Jason Van Dyke was arrested. In time, the police superintendent was fired. The Department of Justice investigated the crime. Ultimately, a consent decree was put into place. And for the first time in over 50 years, an on-duty officer was convicted of murder. As a result, a private sector lawyer named Lori Lightfoot was elected mayor. She swept into office on a reform agenda. All of that is in the rearview mirror. We've sort of laid down tracks for it. Now, has it taken too long to accomplish meaningful police reform? Yes. But those tracks are still there. And this moment now with every good thing that's happened, every advance in transparency and accountability has been driven by citizens' energy. Citizens' energy, also known as public pressure. Calvin says it's the key to change, explosive at times and necessary, like we're seeing all over the country in the George Floyd case. Calvin, as the director of the Invisible Institute, has created with his team this Citizens Police Data Project. Chicago police officers, complaints against them, and background on each incident listed for all to see. He's creating accessibility in order to get more transparency, he says. In June, a win for Calvin when the Illinois Supreme Court said the police union would not be allowed to destroy misconduct files after five years had passed. Calvin wants to preserve them instead and make them public. As for hope toward the future, this investigative journalist suggests that greatly depends on true political will, especially in a place where we've been down a similar road before. And now you have a level of public concern that I think, um, you know, if we don't blow it, puts us in a position to make really dramatic progress in Chicago. So it's a moment. It's a moment. Jamie Calvin believes Chicago's consent decree is more than a legal document. He views the blueprint for reform as a living document and one that should be revisited regularly and evolves with the times. If you'd like to look at the Citizens Police Data Project, just head to our website, WGNTV.com. It is comprehensive and pretty impressive. Very good. Thank you.